Hello everyone, welcome to Panicool Math Mania. My name is Captain S123 and today we will be working on reducing fractions to lowest terms. Reducing a fraction to its lowest terms means making the fraction as small as possible. To reduce a fraction, you divide repeatedly using the same divisor for both numerator and denominator. There should be no remainders. Before we do our first example, an important thing to help with reducing fractions is knowing your factors. Remember, a factor is a number that divides into another number without any remainder. So for example, the factors of 20 would be 2, 4, 5 and 10. All of these numbers, when divided into 20, leaves no remainders. Okay, so now let's get into our example. We will be reducing 8 twelfths into its lowest terms. The first thing we have to do is figure out what number can be divided into both 8 and 12 without any remainders. We need to find a common factor between them both. Let's list our factors of 8. 2, 4 and 8. And let's list our factors of 12. 2, 4, 6 and 12. So what are the common factors? That's right, 2 and 4. When we are reducing fractions, we always use the largest common factor. So for this question, it will be 4. Let's now reduce our 8 twelfths. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Did you see that? No remainders. So 8 twelfths, when reduced, is equal to 2 thirds and two-thirds cannot be reduced any smaller because there is no other number that can be divided into two and three without any remainders. Remember, reducing a fraction makes the numbers smaller, but it doesn't make the fraction's value change. If we're to show a representation of eight twelfths, this is what it would look like. And if we're to show two-thirds, this is what it would look like. Look! They're both equal in value. Before you go, here are two tips to help you in reducing fractions to the lowest term. Our first tip. If the reduced fraction has 1 as its numerator, it's already in its lowest form. For example, 1 sixth. And the second tip is if the reduced fraction has a numerator, which is one figure less than its denominator, it's already in its lowest form. For example, two thirds, which is what we just looked at. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.